Welcome to the Female VC Lab podcast. I have Corinne here. Corinne, in one line, give me your name, your title, and the name of your fund. My name is Corinne Bortnicker. I am the principal at Radiate Capital and affiliate fund of Cohen Circle. Wonderful. What inspired you to become a venture capitalist? Prior to my current role, I spent my career in equity capital markets, which I'll refer to as ECM. And for those who don't know, Equity Capital Markets is a niche group within investment banking that helps companies go public and or raise capital. It was through my role in ECM that I got exposure to founders and their vision and their storytelling. But at that time, being in ECM, you are engaging with companies when they're already at the IPO stage or in their public markets. They're very far along in their life cycle. So it was very enticing to me and very exciting to now be in my current role in venture capital where I get to work with companies at an earlier stage and work directly with these founders, hear their story, and as part of a fund, potentially have an impact on the success and the growth of those businesses at an earlier stage. That's wonderful. So what is your thesis and what's the motivation behind your investment thesis? Radiate invests in growth, health, and fintech companies that are tackling critical global issues. Our thesis is a culmination and formalization of the themes that our GPs and our team as a whole has been focused on over the course of their careers. Health and fintech both separately have been experiencing rapid growth, but there's actually a lot of overlap in how they've been developing because both are experiencing this powerful fusion of shifting demographic trends, regulatory tailwinds, and large financially motivated ecosystem players Mm -hmm. where technological innovation and generational societal dynamics are creating a ripe environment for disruption and investment. We are looking to identify platforms and products in these ecosystems that are underpinned by truly innovative approaches and technologies that align with sector transformation themes that emphasize value, continued shift to digital services, bridging societal and geographical gaps, depersonalization, and improved consumer experiences and solutions. Our team has a really unique experience of and perspective of business model efficiencies, growth levers, global needs, and technical and regulatory landscapes from building and operating companies in our focus sector. We're incredibly excited to bring this team together to work with potential portfolio companies and have a true impact and strategic value as a partner as these companies grow. What are you currently reading or learning or listening to these days? A lot. There's a lot happening in both sectors. As any feel like VC, we're always constantly consuming information. That's it's true. one thing that's really blown my mind in this health and fintech focus is actually the overlap between these two sectors. And it's very often that you'll see that economic stability creates health well-being. And so really diving into that and learning where there are solutions that are targeting that overlap is where I have been spending a tremendous amount of my time. I think one of my favorite moments in learning about and going deep into the health ecosystem was reading the novel American Fitness while sitting in the waiting room for a doctor's appointment and just being Mm -hmm. truly faced with some of the things that book was touching on. And I really love how what we do touches my own life and so many other people's lives. And so that overlap, though, of economic stability and health well-being, that's where I've been spending a lot of time. That's great. Here's the bonus question. Everyone gets this. So in two years, how do you see venture capital having changed or evolved? Our focus as a fund at Radiate, we are in this really unique position where we get to invest for financial returns as well as social impact returns, Mm -hmm. where I'm really hoping to see from the specific viewpoint that I sit is an involvement of where financial and social returns can both exist. There's a really clear definition for what that looks like. The KPIs are, are able to be better tracked so that we can support solutions 
that are creating a greater accessible ecosystem, both in fintech and in health. I think there is a way to go in that journey, but in two years, as more innovative funds and structures continue to come out, I think we're going to see more involvement there, or at least that is my hope. How do people contact you? My LinkedIn is available. Uh, my name, it's just my name. Hopefully, I, as of now, um, there's only one of me. So hopefully yeah. you can find me there because it's a unique name. And then also it, through the Colin Circle website or Radiate Capital, we have input submission forms and you can reach us there as well. Thank you so very much, Kareen Bordnicker from Radiate, a offshoot of Colin Circle for being my guest on 